was the focus in training coming off the loss, and, and how did it go today? Uh, you know, it was uh, we we had a recovery training on Sunday when we got back. Uh, sorry, on Monday, and then uh, the guys had the day off. And then today was really revamping and and trying to get ready for New Mexico. Uh, obviously, the game, the result, I would say, very disappointing because we played a pretty even game with what I would consider the best team in the league, San Antonio, for 75 minutes. And then, you know, we lose our ba uh, our battle in the box on a set piece. That kind of broke our back. Uh, and that's something that we keep talking about. We got to be more focused. We got to be hungrier to win those battles. We got to be harder and tougher. Um, you know, now we've got a we've got a stretch of home home games. Uh, to be honest, it was not easy, and this is no excuse, but it wasn't easy to go to Tulsa, come back, go to Vegas, come back, go to San Antonio. It wouldn't be easy on anybody. So, um, I thought overall to get the three points in in Vegas was was huge. But now we're home. We're home for four out of the next five games. We got to get the results. This is our season right here. Yeah, and in those final 15 minutes of games, especially last weekend, would you, you know, put that more on a fitness issue, a mentality issue? Like, what, what was the uh, problem there that, that you, you said sort of broke your back? I absolutely think it's a mentality issue. It's a, it's a focus issue. Um, we, we've been training hard. Their fitness level has definitely gotten better. I can see it in the games and the way we play. You saw it in 115-degree weather in, in Vegas. Uh, and they're focused in the Vegas. Everything that came into the box, we were able to defend it. We had Chris, uh, Tristan uh, with a diving header trying to trying to defend the box. Those are the things that's going to make us win games, and that's what, what we were talking about right now at the end of the training session. We've got to we've got to be able to defend and sustain pressure from the other team. And then our football. You know, you look at the game at, at, in Tulsa. We played the perfect game. Unfortunately, we we lost our focus in the last with the very last kick. In Vegas, first half. Great football. We go up a we go up a goal, we defend well, and then we're 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 able to get that second goal. And that's the way we got we gotta we gotta go go about our business to, you know, maybe jump on a on a on an opponent opponent, and and see if we can sustain their pressure because that's what's naturally going to happen. And then you know get get a goal on a on a counter attack and close out the game. So we only come out to training at most once a week, right? So just. Take us through, I noticed some intensity from you in the final huddle. Is that typical of you, or is that was that a little bit ramped up? No, that was a little vamped up, vamped up uh, for sure. It was in, it's not like I, you know, I try to, you know, get something out of the guys, get some kind of reaction every day. Usually the reaction on their own, it's really good. Uh, and I thought today also the intensity was very good. There are little things that I feel can make us better. Um, I feel we need to be harder as a team. We're sometimes too nice. And nice, you know you know this, nice guys or nice teams don't win games. You know, you look at the other team, you look at Tulsa, you, the first goal they scored. It's one of their forwards tackling our midfielder. One of their forwards tackling our midfielder on top of our box, which resulted in their goal. Their second goal, my bad. Um, and that's, that's what we need to do. We need to tackle in the middle of the field. We need to be harder. We need to, you know, make our ourselves, you know, m or make the opponent feel us, and, and and be a presence out there. Not just run around, running around. Everybody can run, but you got to be able to play hard. You got to be able to tackle. You got to be able to defend. And then at the same time, you got to be able to play football. And we do that right now. Our, our what I would say is our style of play or uh, how we go about playing. With the ball is really good. Against the ball, there's some things that we need to correct, and that's being focused, defending inside the box, um, you know, being a little bit harder in the middle of the field, tackling things like that. Early in the season, there was a lack of a scoring punch. I mean, putting the ball in the net seemed to be the problem. Now it seems to be on the defensive end. Did you, did you sacrifice on the defensive end to, to to try to score more goals? No, I mean, look, this five-two goal game is is an exception you know you look at uh you look at you know in the in, early in the season we were giving up a lot of goals too we were leading the, the league and giving up goals now we're we're playing a better brand of football uh soccer we're we're trying to build out of the back we're trying to build that first 
uh, and, and break that first line of pressure so then when we get behind that first line, we can attack with numbers. And that's what's given us more opportunities, and we've taken advantage of our opportunities. Now on the flip side, that doesn't mean that we don't defend. We've been defending, look, for 75 minutes, we defended pretty good. That team is not easy to play against in, in San Antonio. Uh, they have lost one home game, I think, in the last two years, something like that. So uh, it, it was going to be difficult, but you know, we, we just have to be better. We have to be better in terms of defending in our half of the field, and then especially defending inside our box has to be better. We have to be tighter on our men and make sure that anything that comes in there, we're there first to the ball. You, you bring in, you know, the new signing and a new defender to kind of help bolster that back line. What impact do you expect him to have, and, and what can you tell us about his role on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, uh, look, I'm looking to play him. Uh, he comes from uh, a good background. You know, he, he was with Inter Miami, uh, their second team mostly, but trained with the first team a lot. Uh, he's a Cuban national team player, so he's got a lot of international experience. So what he brings to the table is what we lack. We lack a little bit of pace in the back, you know, speed. Uh, and then we're exposed. And you look at the first two goals that San Antonio scores, we, we were exposed with, the, with that space in behind. And we have somebody now that can, that can cover a little bit better in terms of pace and speed and be able to stay with runners. Yeah, it was something that uh, one of our trainers gave to all the players, uh, uh, including me. Uh, uh, she made it? Uh, you made them. Okay, all right, uh, my bad. Uh, I, I thought somebody told me one of the trainers, but, um, you know, I liked it. It actually, the same day that it was, it was given to me, I was wearing these pair of sneakers. It matched the color, so I'm like, I love it. So I kept it, and, and uh, hopefully it brings some good luck.